Here's the only issue with this hire is there are reports now that came out that because of all this backlash from fans and pressure to form a title contending team and a title contending roster, that Damian Lillard may have to request his way out of Portland. So the context here, as I just talked about with Chauncey Billups, is that Chauncey Billups was involved in a controversy. This was a controversial hire involved in sexual assault allegations levied against him in 1997. And we know that Damian Lillard, once Terry Stotts was fired, had endorsed two coaches. Chauncey Billups was one, and Jason Kidd was the other. Now, Jason Kidd was also involved in controversy, was was involved in a spousal abuse case uh, in, 2000, that old, in 2001 that led to him being divorced in 2007. Now, because of that, in the, in the backdrop, Jason Kidd basically just withdrew his name from consideration of being a head coach. So Chauncey Billups became the clear-cut favorite. Now, the reason why this trickles down to Damian Lillard is because fans are saying, well, listen, if Damian Lillard endorsed both of these two guys, he must have had some knowledge of their previous transgressions. Now, Damian Lillard has come out and defended himself saying, I didn't know anything about those allegations. I was seven or eight years old. I wasn't following the news. And this isn't about trying to decipher that or insinuate or intimate anything because we don't, we don't know what Damian Lillard knew. But what we know is that there's been pressure now to try and distance himself from those reports from that narrative of someone who supports and endorses a guy that had sexual assault allegations levied against him. So Dam- so Damian Lillard is trying to remove his name from that and try and distance himself from that. But this is the thing that we know. And in life, there's always an impetus for change. Change doesn't just happen. There's something that sparks change. If you're in a relationship and you want to break up with someone, normally it's not the most latest transgression. That's what leads to the breakup. There was something that took place earlier in your relationship that just exacerbated it. That was the crux of the issue. And then little things over time has kind of exp- has kind of compounded it and exacerbated the issue to the point where now one more thing has put you off edge, has set you off edge. And that's normally what leads to the impetus for the breakup. It normally doesn't just happen on the latest event or the latest act. There's something that sparked that earlier on. And the true the, the reality is, if you're Damian Lillard, if you truly want out of Portland, we know that if he truly wants out of Portland, this isn't because of the Chauncey Billups hire, and this isn't because of the controversy that's surrounding it. This is just the latest reason, the latest fodder, and the, and perhaps it could stoke some additional emotions and frustration at the organization, but that's not the reason that would be fueling his decision to leave. Now, the reason why maybe D- Damian Lillard, quite frankly, wants out and would have wanted out for years as loyal as he is, as prideful as he is, as competitive as he is, is because at the end of the day, he looks at his roster and says, I cannot win with CJ McCollum as my second best player. I can't win with McCollum as my second best player, with Nurkic, with Covington, with Carmelo Anthony, with Anthony Simons, with Norman Powell, with Zach Collins being in and out of the lineup hurt every other year. I can't win with this lineup. I can't win with Ennis Cantor coming off the bench. I can't do this myself. Those would be the reasons why Damian Lillard would legitimately want to leave Portland. All this news about Chauncey Billups, sure, it's valid, and perhaps it's the latest reason why he may want out of Portland, but at the end of the day, that's not the reason why he would want to remove himself and play elsewhere. 
No, he thinks he could compete for a championship somewhere else. He'd have more talent somewhere else. And as competitive as Damian Lillard is, and we have admired his reluctance to be a part of super teams, he always said that he always championed for players staying in their their cities. And if, if someone wants to come join him, he he'll embrace them. But he wants to be the guy, and he wants to do it his way. He's prideful enough, he's competitive enough, where he wants to win in his city. But if he wants to leave Portland to pursue a championship and have a a greater and more realistic shot at winning a championship, it's not going to be because of this controversy surrounding Chauncey Billups and the backlash from the fans. It's because he will have come to his senses. And we'll have realized that there are greener pastures for me and better opportunities to win elsewhere out of Portland. So the other piece of it is his contract isn't necessarily easy to move off of. Now, of course, we've seen that superstar players, and and he's one of them as well, they carry tremendous weight and clout within organizations, have, have really strong influence over where they are traded. We just saw James Harden was able to trade his way out of Houston and be sent to his targeted destination with Brooklyn. So I don't know if there are specific places that Damian Lillard has eyed as a spot, but if he does, it's not out of the realm of possibility that he could force his way there. That's the reality, but we'll see. Uh, We'll see what happens.